वेलकम टू कोड विद विनोद इन दिस वीडियो वी विल लर्न जेंगो फॉर्म्स सो जेंगो फॉर्म्स आर लाइक द यूजर फॉर्म वी क्रिएट इन एस टी एम एल ऑन फ्रंट एंड बट इन केस ऑफ जेंगो फॉर्म वी विल क्रिएट द फॉर्म इन द बैकग्राउंड विद द हेल्प ऑफ सम एस टी एम सॉरी विद द हेल्प ऑफ सम पाइथन कोड एंड देन वी विल पुश अवर फॉर्म टू द फ्रंट एंड सो लेट सी एवरी थिंग इन द डेमो सो let me go on my visual studio code so here uh, we have this website uh, which we have already uh, uh, learned in the previous videos so here we will uh, create uh, the forms so to create the forms uh, we will create a file python file inside the uh, project app directory so in the in the project we have this app my test app django so we will create a file forms dot py let's create forms dot py so it is created on some wrong directory so we need to create on this inside direct inside this app so forms dot py and in this uh, file we will import uh, some class so uh, from django we will import forms and then we will create a class so here we will uh, create forms uh, using two two ways uh, first we uh, first ways uh, we can create uh, our, our forms uh, newly uh, as a models so we can create our own field like name class and roll number for student table so we can create our own field and uh, second way is we can map our model directly with the form so we need no we can use the uh, any models uh, fields or we can say any table fields inside our forms so we will see about the ways so let me first uh, uh, use my uh, means first uh, ways let's say we will create a class my data let's say so here we will inherit this class forms dot form and then let's say my name is equal to so in the model uh, we use models dot field name and in the forms we will use forms dot field name let's say i am taking the character field and i am taking the length like 20 name and i am taking let's say address and forms dot let's say taking the character field again and length i am taking let's say 200 so we have created our our form my data so let's see how we will use this form on a front end so let me copy this and inside the view.py file we will import this form from dot forms import our form name and inside this html uh, we can pass our form like form then form name and then control s save it and let's go on front end so in the front end so this is our website so let's go again and start the server so let me make it some minimize this and then let me adjust on screen our visual studio code and then restart the server using python manage dot py run server and refresh the page so this is some text file is there only but how we can get the form so we need to use this form on front end as well 
so now uh, from the back end we have pushed the form and now one step is required we have to use this form here so we will use let's say form method we will use let's say post method and then we will use our form like this form so this curly braces it's a kind of uh, template template we will call it jinja templating and also we will use one thing so let me save it and let's check on front end so now we are able to get our form and we will give some button let's say button type is equal to let's say i'm taking submit button then submit now if i click on this so let me i'm passing some value let's say my name and let's say address so it is giving this error csrf token so this is the cross site repository uh, cross site uh, request forgery uh, it's a kind of uh, token uh, django provides us so let's say uh, we are sending some request let's say some user is accessing our website and want to register itself so let's say user uh, requested so django create at the same time django creates a token in the back end and then when a user register some data so it match the uh, the token from the front end to back end so this is the benefit of this csrf token so we need to use this CS csrf token as well so let's say percent we will use csrf underscore token then percent save it and then refresh and we will try to push again let me submit so we are able to submit but in the back end how we will get the data from the form so let's check so let me print so we will get the data from request so request dot post dot get we will use this syntax and inside the, this syntax we will use our field name let's say my name so i want data from my name so it should print here uh, in the running log so if i submit some data and submit so we are able to get the data in the back end so now we will use how we can get this data and we can uh, submit this data to the uh, our our database so for this uh, we will use model form so let's say we have created a model which is student so we will use model based form so from dot model we will import our model which is student and here we will create another class class student form and in this case we will inherit forms dot model form and then uh, we will take student so we will use class meta and then model which model we are using student model and uh, we will use fields so we can give uh, the required field so now we will take all the fields so for this we will use underscore underscore all then this one and then save it and now let me uh, import this form in the views uh, dot py so from forms we can import this and this time i will give the student form 
and then check. Model form has no model class. Let's check the error. So we have error in this form model class model form has no model class okay so what the issue this should be equal and we will check model is correct Class beta okay our model is equal to this and what is the issue on terminal let's restart the server so from student needs updating okay so we will use fields then it is updating so now let's come on front end so now we are able to get the uh, student data name class name and roll number so let me show you so it is getting the data sorry field name from this model and now we will try to submit so first we will get the data but in the field name we will change so field name is name so first we will check to get the data in the uh, running log so save it and let's let's say i am giving some another name and then roll number i am giving something and now we are able to get the data so how we will submit it so first we will import our model so no need to import the model in this case so first we will check the request type so if request dot method so request dot method is equal to let's say post if request is post otherwise let's say if uh, user is refreshing the, the page so by default uh, uh, the request type method would be get so else if method is get then we will uh, let me remove this print then we will return the uh, HTML page like this HTML page with form this page if user is submitting something then we will submit the data so here we will check uh, the form type let's say form is equal to in the student form we will use inside the form request dot post request dot post method we will like to get the this data directly inside the form so using this syntax request dot post for form will get all the entered data inside the form and then we will check if form we will copy this variable so we can give any name here so form dot we will check dot is valid if form is valid then form dot save this is simple thing to save the data we no need to get the uh, models or any table so automatically form is uh, mapped with table so it will save all the data which contains the request dot post method then uh, in case let's say our form is saved 
so we we want to redirect on other page so we will see in the next video how we will redirect so let me save it and let's save some data and 33 if i submit this so what is the error didn't return the http response so it should require uh, to return some something so if i return so return http response we can re return some response or we can re return some page let's say we can navigate on some page as well so uh, data submitted we can give any message so let me save it refresh and let's uh, push some data if i click on submit so data is submitted so let's check uh, where is data so let me copy this url and open our admin uh, page so this is our admin and inside the student table let's say if i check this record so we have submitted this record so thanks for watching uh, in the next video tutorial we will see uh, how we will uh, redirect on another page so thank you